good track. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cursed Throne. We are on our 11th episode. Can you believe it, folks? Look at that. That's nice. Like that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm your host, Juno. I am your G- I am your GM. And today we've got here with us, we got Scott. Hi, I'm here. I'm playing some characters. I'm playing Fire Emblem. It's nothing new. I'm going to stop rambling now. Let's move on. Please watch Curse Throne. Yes, please watch Curse Throne. Please stay here. <laughs> We've got Shiner. I'm ready to steal some kneecaps. Hooray for stealing kneecaps. But Juno already has both of mine. Well, it's an, equal, it's, it's, it's an equal exchange of kneecaps. Uh, the kneecaps just get passed around to everybody except for you, Scott. <laughs> mm-hmm. You never get them back. Sorry. <laughs> You're never getting those kneecaps back. The kneecaps are ours! Anyways, we've got Uprising. Who are you, people? We are inside your mind. And oh. uh, JoJo will be here later. Uh, they're trying to... Uh, they're gonna. They said they're gonna be late, and also they're. Uh, they got some internet issues, so uh, that may be a. That may factor into the being late part. And also, special thanks to Alex for uh, streaming for us because Split's internet is also dead. Yay! <laughs> the man on the internet has cursed you with bad internet. <laughs> no. Curse you, man on the internet. <laughs> Curse you, man on the internet. <laughs> All right. So when we last left off, our army had just, uh, you know, annihilated a uh, Leviathan's corpse and uh, defeated a Cantor who was terrorizing the small fishing village that you see before you. So, um, after the uh, after the Leviathan was killed, the uh, army decided to continue heading east towards the uh, towards the Marauder's Cave, which is where the uh, Bandit King is said to be in hiding. Alrighty. So the local militia, the local militia, <laughs> they bid you farewell. They give you supplies and whatnot for the rest of your journey over there. And soon, you all head over towards the Marauders Cave, continuing traveling along the coast. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit, a little bit stuffy there. Continuing traveling along the coast, you eventually come across a large mansion. Overlooking a bluff near the ocean. Hmm. I haven't seen a building like this in quite a while. This seems suspicious. How so? Giant mansion, middle of nowhere. Is any flags so to we, you? We don't charge into it without, like, investigating it first. Mm hmm. My guess is that that's probably where they are, and they probably have it heavily guarded. They probably took it by force, also. Great. Uh, um, all right. As it turns out, the uh, the mansion has several paths leading up to the front door. Uh, one leading away towards the fishing town. Another leading down down the bluff, and uh, towards the beach. A third one leading towards a. Uh, leading towards a ridge, and in that ridge is a small hole, uh, which appears to be the entrance to a cave. I all thought that was suspicious. Take a look at this! As Noah oh. gestures toward the cave entrance. They don't hide it very well, do they? Oh, not in the slightest. They, I, I guess they don't need to. They have axes and stuff. Uh, Mike... Uh, pipes up. Is there anyone guarding it? Most likely. I, I can go. I can go check. You guys. Uh, you guys stay here. I'll. Uh, I'll check it out. And uh, Mike leaves towards the cave. Uh, quiet as a shadow. You guys are left standing in front of the mansion, deliberating on what your next move is to be. He's going to die. <laughs> Adri has well, no. Well, he fear. might. Maybe. Maybe someone should go after him. 
Um, maybe. That's... I don't think we should split up, but that sounds like a good idea. Mm. No was gonna take a slight look into the cave. Alright, Noah, you take a- you peer at the cave, uh... You walk up to the cave, you peer through the cave, uh... <clears throat> you see Mike, kind of like... Skulking around the cave, like... Making sure there are no glances- making sure there's nobody... Walk- skulking around... Anybody else skulking around, that is. Um... He appears to be safe... For the most part. Uh, but he has not finished inspecting the cave. He's just going to stand at the entrance and make sure, just to be safe. Alright, Noah, you stand guard at the uh, entrance to the cave. He's also going to die. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Why are you guys so harsh to each other? It's not a very ah, it's, it's family talk, it's fine. Right? Family talk. Jeez. Any luck Leon in there? Seems, Leon seems disturbed at this, and she looks at Noah and gives him <laughs> like a, like you know, the gesture of like cutting the throat and shaking her head no. <laughs> Mike peeks his head back out of the uh, back out of the cave. He's like, oh huh? well. There is a long corridor. It's somewhat dark, um, but for the most part, it seems unguarded. But if we are to enter this cave, we have to be on our guard because, like, they are probably hiding in the darkness, as you know, as brigands do, highwaymen and whatnot. Do you think we should lower our numbers then? Have some of us stay outside and a few go in? Well,. If we're dealing with the bandit king, but uh, before Mike can finish, you, just, you suddenly hear the doors of the mansion open up, and a, a very handsomely dressed nobleman emerges from the doors. Oh. Oh yes, excuse me. Are you all, are you all a militia or something? Uh, I you could say that. What? Oh, excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Uh, my name is Lord Attis, and I am... I am the noble... I am the owner of this land. But uh, I have fallen under hard times lately because... Uh, excuse me, my... Excuse me. Uh, my grasp of the common language is not very good. I am not a... I am not a noble from the... I am not a noble from the... Uh, from the, Originally from the land of Limphos, you see? This is my this is my summer home, but it appears that bandits have settled in the settled in the bluff nearby my house, and have have been ha I have been dealing with this bandit problem for many many months now. Seems so like I implore you. Under, seems like a couple of locations are under siege. Mm, indeed, it is a very very difficult situation. Uh, Lord Addis, like kind of a. Uh, folds his hands together. If you would be so kind as to, uh, if you would be so kind as to, uh, would any of you be willing to, <sighs> well, I could pay, I could pay you handsomely, but if any of you would be willing to, you know, keep watch of my, over my mansion for now, as the rest of you go into the, as the rest of you enter the cave, would deal with whatever problem you are dealing with. I overheard you, uh, Aiming to defeat the bandit king, I think is very admirable, but it is also very dangerous. Oh, we can handle it. Absolutely. Oh, good. 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 Very good. Well, um, I suppose you should all decide amongst yourselves who will be going into the cave and who will be guarding the mansion. I must be run I must be off running errands, but my estate has been under constant attack from these brigands. 
I suppose living next to their hideout is not a very is not conducive to not getting robbed. <laughs> Have you all yes. ever... Um, I, I must in- implore though. You just met us. I mean, of course we're a trustworthy group, but how is it that you're sure that you can trust us with your oh, fine God. home? Well, I will pay you handsomely. Much more than you can gain from just breaking into my house. I am, after all, a very, very rich noble. Yes, I'm sure. She just is like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> all right. She's like, uh, if okay. this boy knew who I was. <laughs> <laughs> if this boy knew who I was. All right. I need the. I need the rest. Of, I need all of you to select two characters to bring into the uh, bring into the dungeon. But but I have no choice. <clears throat> I have no choice. <laughs> yes, Shiner. Select two of your one characters. <laughs> I'm gonna take Tristana and um. Oh, Tristana? oh, um, no, 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 uh, she won't be suitable for this. Um, maybe Tristana, though? <laughs> I don't know. You but, are a fool oh. of fools. You you better be taking Tristana into this mission. I mean, I guess, but... Uh. I mean, what, what, what about... What about Tristana? Oh, okay, you know what? Let's compromise. Um, bring Tristana, and then just for added measure, bring Tristana. Okay? All right, sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, okay. I've made okay. my choice. Excellent. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna bring uh, Folky and Leon, but right. by the way, they're both level 19 and Luyet is level 20. So, do you want to use the Master Seal on Luyet? <laughs> do we have Master Seals? We you do. bought like five of them. You bought like three of them. <laughs> oh yeah, I did that. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I need to buy all the Master Seals. <laughs> Oh yeah. Forgot I did right. that. You did. Yeah, I'll use a master seal. On Lietta. Okay. You use a master seal on Luietta. All right, Luietta. You pick up the per, before you enter the cave. You pick up one of the master seals that you'd purchased from the shop. It begins to spin and glow and hover in the air, and you are engulfed in a white light. And you have all you have finally promoted to a. And you, yeah, you've pro- you promoted. And here is what Luyetta's looks like after being promoted. Uh, it should be in everybody's play- your journals. There we go. The music's okay. Uh, is it showing up for everybody, or is it not? Yeah, it's there. Okay, yeah, it's okay there. cool. Ooh, there she is. Gorgeous. That is actually gorgeous. Yeah, her dress has to get pulled up like that because she rides a horse. Wait a minute. Leg yarn, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the it, it normally like trails down really far, but because she rides horses. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late, Lady Palatina! <laughs> yeah, no, oh that's what God. I was waiting for. <laughs> I drew it I drew the design and I was like that's Lady Palutena. That's definitely That's Palutena. Palutena. Lady Palutena in her green believe. alt. Yeah. I can't believe we had a Palutena. All right. All right, Luyetta has been reset to level one. Uh, please go ahead and change that on your sheet, Uprising. In the meantime, um, Scott, who are you bringing into the uh, who are you bringing into the cave? Um, we're we're bringing our allies, right? Yes. Okay, in that case, I don't have to worry too much about colors. Um, still, though. Also, okay. in that case, I'm bringing Luyetta and not... And uh, not? Leon. You're bringing Luyetta and Leon? <laughs> Luyetta right. and Folky, not Leon. All right. All right. Um, now I'm deciding... Okay. Um... For split, can, just to avoid overabundance of red, can we not or Damien? Um, or, I, I mean, I guess we could bring Damien, but like, 
Because I was going to bring Charles. Uh, whoops. Jojo would have Manica, so you're good with uh, Red Mage. Yeah, you're good with Red Mages. Okay. Uh, you know what? I, I want to get my other guys to level 20 as fast as possible, so I'm going to I'm gonna get Noah out of here. He's level 18, okay. so he's a bit lower. Let's just get these guys as far up as possible. All right, so you're bringing in Charles and Adri? Noah and Charles, I don't know. Noah and Charles, or who are you bringing in? Okay, I'm bringing Charles for a fact. I'm going to flip okay. a coin. I'm flipping a coin. Okay. Heads is Adri, tails is Noah. Oh. That was not a coin flip. We're bringing Adri. All right. So the characters you have chosen are... Tristana, of course. <laughs> what? Um, no, I'm, I'm talking about you guys I, in total. I tease, Trist I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Tristana, Falky, Lugeta, who is now promoted, uh, frickin' Charles and Adri. And, uh, of course, Jojo has default uh, two characters, so, yeah, that's gonna be Ivory and Manica, and uh, Split, I will ask later. All right. Lord Addis. Also, Addis. Pull, pull his hands, Hab. What are you saying? Uh, just a reminder that we have two orbs, quote unquote. Yes, we have two, uh, yes, two summons. Two special <laughs> summons. Orbs. <laughs> In any, technically, that would be nine orbs. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Addis folds his hands again, and, he's, and he says, Oh, uh, Thank you so much for your thank you so much for your help. The rest of you, please, please make yourselves at home. And Lord Addis leads the rest of the army towards the mansion. Meanwhile, our intrepid heroes enter the Marauders Cave. I can't see you. shit. Scroll down. <laughs> ah. ah, there you are. There you are. For my help. All right. All right. Uh. Ah, shit. All right. Who went insane? <laughs> Me. Where did Lietta go? She fell into the darkness. Realize okay. Three flyer units. I am Lilietta. I have been promoted to a mighty uh, promoted unit with more power. Wait, where the fuck am I? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> this so is the perfect three opportunity. Three flyer three. units into the team may not have been the smartest idea. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh. Okay. Wait, she's oh, a oh, no. flyer now. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> oh fuck! I can't believe. Are you serious? Yeah. No, she's not. Oh, oh no. No, she's not. Yeah, I didn't do that because I was like, that would be too much. Yeah. Oof. She's a, uh, um... I think she still can. What did I say she was? Scott, I'll look up what I said she was just for you. Thank you. Oh, there, there's a promoted version of Token. All right. In the meantime, talk amongst yourselves. Where do you want to go first? Hmm... Water looks promising. Agreed. Jump! Jump! <laughs> All right, it is fairly deep. Don't go that way. All right, it's uh, it's from fairly deep water. So, um, <laughs> roll athletic, roll up, uh, roll acrobatics. Acrobatics, alrighty. That is plus plus twenty one. All right. Uh, Wait, athletics or acrobatics? Acrobatics. Yeah, plus twenty-one. All right, uh, Adri, you are cap you are uh, well incapable of uh, treading the water, but the water appears to be about uh, the water. The water appears to be about six feet deep, so you're okay. Shh. 
but it does appear to get a little bit deeper as you go on. So we're going to go after them, yes. Hey, Scott, I told you what her promote class is, Valkyrie. Okay, thank you. That's a, a cavalry still. We're going to go after them, yes? Probably. We don't want them to get hurt. Easier said than done. Yeah. Hang on, wait up! <laughs> Race ya! <laughs> <laughs> slow down <laughs> I'm just gonna stay along the shoreline for now alright as you stay along the shoreline um... Snowy doesn't like water oh my god <laughs> <laughs> as you travel to the left you see a witch turn her head, turn her head towards you and she's like hey <laughs> and she starts floating towards you I'm gonna Very... take a shot at that all right, uh, roll me a... Okay, roll me a... Hmm. Yeah. Let's see, roll me... Dexterity. Dexterity. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, the witch uh, floats out of the way and continues to charge towards you. And... Uh, can I charge back? Uh, sure. Uh, would you like to, uh, would you all, what would you like to do? Maybe, like, back up a bit on my horse and then just boom, va va boom into her. Va va boom. Especially since I have right. that sweet boy trample. Alright. Uh, you gallop, okay, you back up and you gallop into the, you gallop into the witch. And, uh, I need you to roll, uh, Athletics with advantage because uh, you've got a horse <laughs> and horses are heavy. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna take Ooh. that twenty-nine. So look at it. You bet. You 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 trot back a little bit, and then you just gallop into the witch, pounding her, pounding her, and knocking her like five feet back, and. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take us into the uh, into the Ch combat screen. Hi. Ooh. One second, let me grab oh. your uh, tokens as well. And then they all died. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get some Fs in the chat? <laughs> uh, I mean, the people that died is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we may be invisible. This so. is so sad. Can we get a hundred likes? <laughs> this is so sad. Can we get a hundred bits? <laughs> Can we get twenty orbs? <laughs> Can we get Not twenty orbs, life. please? Not on your life. You don't even play first the game anymore. First, I mean, uh, yeah. Sid <laughs> but first, uh, before our combat begins, a sigil appears behind you. Two sigils. I'm going to do these things one at a time, Scott. <laughs> Fair enough. And from the world of the cannibal conspiracy... The sigils of the mouth. <laughs> oh my god. It's not a mouth! Wait, oh, is that right? self no! taste Patu! <laughs> and you land in Falkirk's <laughs> throat. <laughs> ah! Soap! <laughs> That's a tongue. Oh god. <laughs> and uh, spit out of the portal is Lean coming to us from Cannibal Conspiracy. Uh, who Are should those soap bubbles? No, oh my that's, god. That's tea. Oh. Ew, that's Steffi. Oh, she's pissed. No, not Zura. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know and she's called Zephy, but at the time she was called Zura, so I'm referring this to her. This is the soap. <laughs> That's oh the so there's the soap. Oh, it was lavender, oh though. It was. All right. And after not that, not definitely not, <laughs> definitely not, Zephy is uh, disappears from the battlefield. 
Uh, let me. Let me go ahead and uh, show off uh, Lean's skills and stats and everything. Have they been updated to be like level 18 or no? They uh, yes, they have not. They have not been updated. Oh my gosh! Well, she's going to die. <laughs> she's not going to die, guys. I just haven't updated her stats. Lean. A halfling bard from the Outrealms. Her skill with a bow is unmatched, and legends say she was even able to seduce a tornado. Appears in Cannibal Conspiracy. Hey guys! Whoa! Okay, this is a little creepy. Um, Weird. I mean, I've seen weirder. I mean, this is not as bad as the Wendigo, for sure. Ugh. <sighs> It's another one of those outrealmers. Uh, okay, um, so not not the nicest, not the nicest bunch. <laughs> You'll have to excuse him. He's a bit of a bit of a rough around the edges. Um, who might you be? I am Lean. I am a halfling bard. I kind of travel around. That's kind of what I've been doing recently. After I um, well, you know, I've been traveling around with my my friends, and you know. Uh, Suddenly found myself here, I guess. <laughs> uh, you're in a little skirmish, it looks like? It would appear so, yes. Well, I oh. can help with that. I tend to be familiar with those. I have taken down, you know, my fair share of gods. Mm, it's no big deal. Charles, well, one. Now, it would be an honor to work with you, Miss Lane. <laughs> oh, thank you, a charmer. Are you a bard, too? Uh, alas, I'm not. Uh, if you would, if you would stick around, maybe you could meet our, our friend Leon. Though she is quite a quite an <clears throat> she is a performer as well. You get the hats for her. that's all right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> called out. <laughs> all right, <laughs> we can talk later. Let's let's kill these fools. But before you can kill these fools, another sigil appears. <laughs> This one, black and white. And you hear some, and you hear some uh, smooth jazz music coming from. You hear some music that you've of a kind that you've never heard before, coming from the sigil, and you hear some, you hear some loud, boisterous screaming, as a tiny, as a tiny gremlin. <laughs> With a gigantic base, <laughs> with a gigantic <laughs> upright base, tumbles out of the sigil. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Snickers, a musical gremlin from the Out Realms, the owner of a bar that a great private eye famously recruited her at, appears in Art Venture Noir. Oh, God, where am I? Who the heck are you people? Why are you two cats? What's going on? <laughs> and there's more of them. Oh, oh you get God. used to, like, a lot of weird people. It, it, it's just, like, this happens all the time, even if you're not, like, teleported to places. Hey, that's a cool instrument. Thanks. This is this is my, this is my bass. I, I love my bass. Don't fucking touch my bass! Uh. All right. Now that we've got introductions, why am I here? To be honest, we're not entirely sure ourselves. We just saw a little magic circle in the sky, and here you are. Alongside hey. her, he looks to lean. Yeah. Not quite sure why I'm here, but you know. Uh, okay, <clears throat> that's fine. So, what do we do now? Kill him! As, as <gasps> Snicker... <laughs> As Snickers says, "What do we do now?" The uh, the outlaw starts to outlaw, tiring of all this uh, out realms nonsense, begins to draw his bow and point it directly at Snickers. Oh, um, can can I can I move out of the way? Do, can I can I just run around frantically? Is that an evasive maneuver, running around frantically? You run around frantically. <laughs> ah! I 
Oh. Adri just looks at the looks at what's going on around him and is just a little a little concerned. Folky <clears throat> kind of like looks at them and's like, "Wow, they're both really small. I kind of wish we'd gotten a, a like a big one. Whatever." Nicholas immediately just... stops. Hey. Uh huh. Thank you for the bits, Mika. You're Thank you for the bits. You're small, though. <laughs> so. To be fair. Mighty. To be fair, so is the dragon. Points at <clears throat> Ivory. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, but like, you're not small. I'm not small. We get shit done. And you, you know what? We're not getting any shit done right now. I, I was going to say, wanna... are they staring us down, or are they just being patient with this? Or <laughs> the outlaw is the outlaw is going to move if you <laughs> if you don't wrap this up soon, it's going to be enemy phase. We should do something. This is Scott. He's not gonna, we should he... probably do something. I'm going to just. He's knocking him. an arrow. Okay, you bite him uh, without checking his stats first. Okay. No wait, okay. I don't want to bite him. I want to bite her because what? I have without checking her stats right either. Her. Oh, no, yeah, you I do. Wanna, I don't want to check her stats. I've read Tom Breaker. It's Tiger, Tiger, Bird, right? Freaking everything. All right. You, uh, all right. It don't matter. It don't even matter because, like, the witch just gets mauled by a tiger who has red Tom Breaker. You take, you take the witch's tome. You, you put it in your mouth. You're like, ah! <laughs> pages go flying everywhere, all over the place. And you, like, spit the book out and then you bat the witch away. With your tiger paw, the witch is down oh and out. God. I hate reading. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I hate reading. <laughs> oh my god! Sixty experience oh points. Um. <clears throat> thank you again, sis. Oh my god! Excuse the, me. The Trinity. Excuse me. Oh my god! Okay. When we get out of this combat, we'll do the next one because we can't we can't do we can't postpone this combat for any much longer. No, that's fair. Trinity! I want to see one of the ally units fight, but uh, please tell me they'll stick around even after this skirmish. They will. They will stick around. It's not gonna. It's, it's not gonna. They're not gonna stick around. They're not gonna leave until after the dungeon's over. Or, uh, good. Good. Over. Excellent. In that case, tell me this man's stats. All right. The rogue. The rogue has thirty-two HP. <clears throat> uh, hold on, rogue. Okay, uh, twenty-one attack. Twenty-one attack. Twenty-one speed. Twenty-one speed. Uh, nine defense and zero res. Nine defense, you say? Yes, nine defense. I say. Hmm. I am really tempted. He has... Mm, mm, mm. Charles does not do well opponents, but... Wait. Wait a minute. Adri gets into position. <laughs> and Charles goes up... Oh, wait. Hold on. Adri gets into position, and Charles goes for the rogue. All right. Uh, remind I'm me not doing the brave though because he's going to be outsped otherwise. So I'm just going to use a just use my steel bow. All right. Okay. So Charles, you. Okay. So hold on. Let me give me a sec to uh, calculate this. So this kind of what if I just don't? Then okay. you're fired. <laughs> 25 damage plus yeah that's just 25 damage uh and uh actually, yeah that's it actually, <laughs> 25 what? versus what are you doing what do you what no never mind he would get doubled if i use the brave oath never mind okay um so Okay, so Charles, you fly up to the rogue uh, with Adri, with Adri transforming into a tiger and like plodding behind you, and uh, Charles, you knock an arrow, you fire at the rogue, and the rogue 
takes an arrow to the chest. So that's going to be... Um, it's going to be a 16 damage on the rogue. So the rogue oh. is down to half health. Nice. The rogue takes out, his, takes out a dagger and he flings it up at you. He takes out a steel dagger, so it's going to be a... It's going to be four damage. It's going to be six damage. Coming off of a 21... 27 versus your defense, which is 11. Uh, 16. Uh, Charles takes 16 damage. Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Okay. Uh, and Charles for attacking gets a 30 experience. Uh, he gets how much experience? 30. 30. 30. Oh yeah, and Folky gets uh, three SP for uh, uh, killing the guy or the gal. All right. Add three. Okay. Wait a minute. Plus four to Charles's stats for raging guard. Uh, or raging is guard is a uh, raging guard is for uh, when en or on enemy phase. I see. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Uh, who's next? Uh, uh, so please, who, someone the take down the archer. Please, someone take down the archer. Uh, I mean, Loyetta doesn't really need it, and I just want to play as lean, but that's ally face, so I have to wait. Actually. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Um, the summonable character, the summonable characters, since like the other, since like the other, uh, since like not the GM is playing them, they can be controlled on player face. Oh hell yeah! Oh cool. Hot she's a. Uh... If no one is gonna take out that outlaw, then Charles is gonna get killed. Tristan is like good. <laughs> Oh, she can't reach it. Then perish. Wow. <clears throat> All right, still deliberating. This move was not a good idea. <laughs> Hold on. This is not cash money. <laughs> I'll come over and heal you, and if someone tries to attack me, then they're just dead. That's just a suicide. All right, you're too so so my attack is twenty one, so that's uh ten healing. Ten healing. Oh, All okay. right, that restores him to full health. All right, it's full Thank health. Thank you. All right. Also, a reminder that Lena has a dancing skill, so. Does. Oh, that's right. She can get into Wish range of myself. any of these four characters. Oh, yeah, and the Luyetta for a healing for healing Charles, you gain. Um, let's see, twenty one minus uh, no, twenty minus uh, nineteen minus uh, ninety uh, experience. I'm gonna dance on Folky, and Folky's no. gonna. You Perfect. danced on Folky. How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> I got on Lean, her shoulders on and twerked. <laughs> you jump on top Lean of Folky. Lena would do that. And yeah, yeah she, she would. would. <laughs> she wouldn't do it at this point of knowing this group, but like, you know, really late on, <laughs> she would. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so she so just does a, a... does a little dance for her. Folky's going to go maul this guy now. Yeah. All right, Folky, you maul the, you maul the guy. Uh, let me see. All right, let's, plug, let's factor in all of the. Uh, this guy actually has defense, so I gotta, I gotta do the actual calculation. Oh my god! I actually get out the the calculator. What? I actually need math. Am <laughs> I at normal? Normal damage for this guy? Yeah, normal damage, colorless. Uh, so tiger, tiger comes into play. 
Uh, attack, defense, rest, speed plus four, so that's going to be 20, 39. Uh, my normal rhythm. damage is 35 without any of okay. my... So it's uh, plus six because of Odd Rhythm and Tiger Tiger, so uh, that's going to be okay, 41. So, yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> Falky, you, uh, you uh, run up to the thief and you uh, smack, him once with the, smack him once with your paw, smack him again with your other paw, and the thief goes down because he can't counterattack because he has a bow unit. He's a nerd! Nerd! And yeah, he goes down. Uh, for killing him, you get 60 experience points and uh, 3 SP. Uh, uh, cool. Falky kills all nerds. Falky well, takes nerds and dunks them in the toilet. It's her mission. Stay the fuck away from Charles. Oh wait, no, he's not a nerd. He's a manlet. Never mind. He's not, yeah. not a manlet anymore. Oh, that's true. Yeah, he hasn't gotten pussy yet. Falky stealing <laughs> everyone's lunch money. But yeah, yeah. that's okay. Uprising. That's not true because as team, I, you cut out. So obviously, what you said doesn't count. I said it's not. <laughs> he has gotten pussy because Adrian and Folky are both on the team. No, that doesn't count because um, he they don't like him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Anyways. Once he Anyways. beats them in an arm wrestle, then yes. Anyways, uh, Tristana has not moved yet. Tristana. Yeah, Tristana and Snickers need to move. Shiner. Shiner. Hey, yo, Shiner fucking do it. Shiner. She's Shiner. muted, Shiner. so. Oh, no. Uh, sorry, sorry. My lizard jumped out of their cage and I had to go chasing after no. them. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, it's your turn now. Uh, uh, Tristana and Snickers have yet to move. Oh, Snickers can move. Uh, uh oh, we can't really do much. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up here with this one. Can she move that far? Yes, uh, Snickers is an infantry. Okay, cool. Um... Okay. Um... Can I go heal? Can I move Can I move through people? Is that a thing? I forget. Uh, you can move through allies, yes. Okay, I'm gonna... One, one two, three, four, five... Wait, I lost count. I'm gonna go... Can I go here? Uh, that's not gonna allow you to, uh, remember, uh, staff units have to attack from two spaces away. Uh. There we go. And so, uh, Tristana, you, take out your, take out your, which weapon are you attacking with? Um, remind me what weapon she has, I don't have my sheet open, I'm uh, stupid. Oh, you have assault and a candy cane and reset. I'm just gonna go for assault. Let's go. All right, assault. You hit the rogue up with an assault. Uh, I'm not gonna calculate this because that's already that's already 27 Whoa. versus zero res, and that's way more than the rogue actually has. So Oof. yeah, the rogue goes down, and you gain. Um, let's see. <laughs> you, you gain 60 experience points. Heck yeah, I have to open the thing. I will do that in a minuto. Hey, Tristana. You were in four spaces of Charles. You get... <gasps> no! <clears throat> no, no, here's what Charles does. Charles uh, Charles increases support bonuses between characters who are within four spaces within of him. Four spaces they... of him, yeah. <sighs> all right, I'm going to take us all back to the... I'm going to take us all back to the uh, dungeon screen. Also, Juno DMs. Oh, no, I saw. I just had to calculate Tristana's oh, sorry. damage first. Sorry. All right. The witch is down for the count. Um, guess I'm going to have to scroll back on the map again. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> That's just how it is. Hey, Juno! Did you know that you can uh, hold shift and then click on some space and it'll drag everyone's view over to where you're going? 
<laughs> Whoa! I did not know that. Thanks, DM. DM Alex. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks DM you know. Alex. You're my new best Thanks. friend. <laughs> We're gonna be special friends. So is everybody uh, centered swim. on the uh, centered swim, on the swim, area swim. that? Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. All right. Are you two okay? Why do you keep saying that? They're swimming. I know, but Tristan, just ask them personally. Why, why are, are they you, saying uh, swim? Why are you saying that? <laughs> why are you saying swim, swim, swim? They're just like paddling with their heads above the yeah. water. Swim, swim, swim. swim, swim. swim. swim, swim, swim. <laughs> but as you guys are swimming, you hear uh, you hear the sound of another si- another yet another sigil opening. Dun 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 And from the world of fallen empires. Scott, you're gonna love this. Yes. Am I It's beefcake. No, it's no, it's not beefcake. Beefcake! A man with pointy ears tumbles out of the tumbles out of the uh I swear, that was you out did of the what I think you did. Did I do what? Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> and <laughs> it's somewhat dimly lit in here, so I guess it is somewhat dimly lit. So uh, I guess do with that what you will, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go, Cal. I uh, wait a minute. This isn't the bar. Where am I? And who are you? Oh, we've got another! Oh, Lean slaps Malafane hard on the lower back because that's what she reaches. <clears throat> okay, it's so... Really ask questions. Okay, so we basically are getting, like, teleported here. I don't know why. I don't see why this is important. Um, it really just doesn't seem important. Um... <clears throat> Malafane, a half-elf rogue from the Outruns. He has an alternate personality named Esco, who emerges when there is little light, appears in Fallen Empires. Why does he have Iceberg? <laughs> because he has high res. Fair enough. Ah, and who are you? You look a lot like the Halfwit. <laughs> That's nice. Um, I'm lean. I'm a halfling bard. I guess you're a half elf or something. I don't, you know, you're mean, so whatever. <laughs> you're mean, so whatever. <clears throat> so, how did I get here and how do I get back? I literally I just explained. Time. We got teleported here. We'll figure it out. There's probably some boss we have to kill and then we'll get like zoomed back. That's how these things work most of the time. Right, well, if you'll kindly excuse me, I'm going to go see if I can find some more of that alcohol thing. <laughs> no, uh, actually, I think you have to stand right here. I think I saw some. Did you now? Yeah, come well, here. Why didn't you just say so? <laughs> she pushes them into the water. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, okay. Meanwhile, Adri just looks at folk. Swim, swim, swim. Swim swim swim. swim, swim, swim. As you guys are oh. swimming, you hear some unsettling chittering coming from the from the northeast. Ew! I'm going to need both of you to make a stealth check. Oh. We have to stay swimming quieter. Right. <laughs> All right, stealth check. Uh, what is... Had three stealth. Oh, this will be fun. Okay. <laughs> I <Yeah>. rolled a two. <laughs> Can we get some F's in the chat? <laughs> Can we get some F's in the chat? <laughs> all right. Uh, this is all going to depend on. Just, just tell us how, how badly this goes, so I can decide whether or not to actually whisper it or shout it. Oh, it went pretty badly. <laughs> Did it go oh, badly nice. for both of us? Because it kind of seems uh, like. Oh no! It just went. Ba- it just went badly for. Uh, it just went badly for. Uh, no, badly for the, for the both of you. <laughs> All right, we need to be as quiet as possible. Ready? Got it. Swim, swim, swim! Swim, swim, swim! Swim, swim, swim! swim, swim, swim. swim. As you guys scream out, swim, swim, swim! <laughs> the chittering gets only gets louder 
as <laughs> as these two gigantic spiders uh, sitting on uh, perched on the peak of, at the top of it uh, perched on an island in the middle of the water begin oh my God, like, my God. <laughs> and they begin to stalk towards you but they're like eyeing you they're like eyeing you at the edge of the at the shore vine because they're like even though they're giant spiders, they're uh, their heads are pretty low to the ground, so like they would drown if they tried to go into the water. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. She wants it. You want to kill the? Sp- you want? You want to? You want to engage the spiders? No, she wants to like. All right. <laughs> Which one's drowning? Is it Escal or Adri? <laughs> it's Escal. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Luyetta is concerned, though. <clears throat> she pulls him out. <clears throat> Dear, are you all right? <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I've had worse. <sighs> and maybe quiet. you'd like to sit on the back of my horse for a bit. <sighs> no, I'm fine. Thank you, though. Okay. I need to take my anger out on some creatures. Oh, as if on cue. Folky, meanwhile, wants to pounce through the water on the bug. All right, uh, I'm going to need you to roll. If, I'm going to need you to roll um, acrobatics. Oh boy! Another two. That's a pretty good score, though. So, like, that's just going to depend yeah. on the roll. <clears throat> yeah, no, you. Yeah, no, you managed to pass it. Which one are you pouncing on? This this one, the top one. All right, you pounce on you pounce on the giant spider, the bale, and uh, and you uh, kind of like claw into it really violently, and the bale and we are going and this initiates combat with the bale. So let me take you guys back to the combat screen, uh, with the addition of Esgal. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> After this combat, just for the sake of me not having to kill my voice, I'm just gonna assume that it's light enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if he if he sticks by Luyetta, she probably her staff emits probably enough light. It's non-canon enough. It's <laughs> non-canon enough. Hey, it's the it's the non-canon fairy. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just stay by Luyetta. She's fucking, uh, she's like a holy light princess. Give another you know, $20 it's... and you'll summon Alex's non canon character, the non canon fairy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll so, see. you want to be a hero, kid? Well, that's fine. <laughs> it's not canon. Oh my god. Where is Danny Esgal? DeVito, the non canon fairy. Esgal is coming. There he is. I He's coming. Really? Nice. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Friend is apparently neighbors with Danny DeVito? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, no, he has a house in like this other town that he goes to because he switches back and forth between here and there, and apparently they're neighbors with Danny DeVito. He's like, sent me pictures, and a couple days ago he's like, Danny DeVito says hi, and I'm just like, what? <laughs> god, I wish that were me. <coughs> oh my god, Danny DeVito. <laughs> Anyways. This is this is way different from my friend who was uh, neighbors with Justin Bieber while he what? Was, Ew. at the time he was uh, at the time he uh, had stolen a car or something. <laughs> oh yeah, that was yikes! Good. Hang on, just just for a hot second, just swap S with Lulietta. Just I just want to appreciate this. Just All we right. have four red units. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now that we've okay. done that, we can we can switch back now. I just wanted to see that lined up. <laughs> well, you guys will never have any problem with axes, right? Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. Combat. Wait. <clears throat> uh, so, uh, Steph, so if Echoes has taught me anything, uh, walk.
Walkers. What are the stats of the Bone Walkers? <laughs> died one too many times to a Bone Walker in Shadows of Valentia, hey? Not died, but came very close. All right, Bone Walkers. Their stats are as follows. Uh, 41 HP. Yeah. 19 attack. Uh, 15 speed. 15 speed. Um, 10 defense and 2 res. <clears throat> and the Beowulves? I know what I said. <laughs> oh my god, Scott. Anyways, the Bales. They have stats of 40 HP. Uh, 24 attack. Uh, 8 speed. Okay. 20 defense. <clears throat> and 0 20 res. 20 yeah, defense? Yeah, 20 defense. Oh yep. god. Okay. Have then. fun. <laughs> Thank you. And the uh, the bone walkers are each equipped with steel swords, and the bale is equipped with the uh, venom claws, which have a might of one but inflict poison. Cool. Okay. Oh. Okay. So let's take out them first. Hmm. All right. You wanna you wanna gang up on the bales first? Yeah, because I don't think we have anything to cure poison. Not at the moment. No one has restore, so... <clears throat> Though, alter alternatively, the bales are going to move slower. So we should probably get into a defensive position for the bone walkers. This is one of those few times where I think we should take the defense instead of the offense. <clears throat> well, we could get our, uh, our ranged... <laughs> Could we get, like, a range on them? All right. The Bales are armored units, so they can move four spaces. Bone Walkers are infantry units. They, they can move five fine. spaces. Can you give us, like, an outline? Like, how whenever you press X, you get the outline? Uh, It's not going to be exact because it's weird. Okay, but... we'll give it. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and uh, give you the danger zone. <clears throat> Wait a minute. just occurred to me. Charles has a cleave bow. He does have a cleave bow. Remind me, but that's effective against... Armors. <laughs> I think I know who I'm going to go up against. This is about the uh this is about the uh hold on I can't you guys can't see the aura yet. But uh Man, my computer's running really slow today. I don't know why. Why does everything hate curse from? <laughs> Jesus. <clears throat> it's not exact, <coughs> but it just kind of gives you a general idea of what they are capable of, where they're capable of moving. Wow. Right. Um, I'm going to so that... have Charles switch with Manica. Okay. Uh, we probably want Charles and Lean in front then. Yeah. Um, what is Ivory's defense? Ivory's defense is, uh, let me check. Scott, where do you think Lane should be? Should should she stay there, or should she switch with Valky? Let me think. Um, in the meantime, I'll give you Ivory's defense. Ivory's defense is 18. That's not terrible. <coughs> hmm. He'd still have, I mean, he would still have weapon triangle advantage, so he would take less damage. Ivory should also take the front. Yeah. Um, I could also, because I have the advantage of being ranged, and I also have the advantage of I could use refresh on Charles because he has <clears throat> the armor breaking <clears throat> bow. That's true, and your violin bow also um, grants 
plus three when refreshing. Yeah. All right. So maybe either front line or in the middle, like where you are now. Yeah, I think five. We do this. You can go and kill the first one on the left, and then I can refresh you if you're here. Mm -hmm. And then we can probably just kill that that one from there, right, really easily. I'm going to switch Folky and Luyetta so that Luyetta can follow you and heal you should you get hurt by anything. Okay. Um, should we switch Ivory and Manica around? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Ivory also, and Manica. did Ivory take damage? Ivory did not take damage. Uh, we just have not reset after the last Heal that game. boy. Heal the boy. Boy has been healed. And I, I think that's good. I think we're good. We have a All healer right. and a refresher in the center, and then we have everyone else down below. All right. All right, let's play. <clears throat> Player face. All right, so Charles, I yeah, I'm going to have him... Take attack out, the bail. Attack the bail. All right. Okay, so you got to, you're using your cleave bow. So uh, let me check your uh, attack stat real quick. That's coming off of nineteen. It's twenty nine damage times uh, one point five. So let me go ahead and uh, round that up. It's gonna be forty five damage. So you're gonna go ahead and hit the bale twice, for thirty <coughs> damage. So Charles, you uh, take your cleave bow and you knock two arrows into it at once, like mm -hmm. a fancy man, and you fire at the bale, and the two arrows pierce into its they pierce into its exoskeleton. The bale rears back and screeches angrily as you uh, as it takes thirty damage, uh, but it cannot reach you because you were flying up high and also you were attacking from range. Nice. Uh, for attacking the bale, you gain. Um, the bale is sixteen, level sixteen, so uh, thirty experience. So close. Yeah, it sucks. I'm All right. So close. Uh, dance. All right, you dance. <clears throat> All right, leading um, you dance, Charles. And uh, Charles, what do you want to do? All right. So now he has plus three to each stat. Temporarily. Yep. Um, part of me wants to move out of the way, but that also means leaving Lean for dead, and I don't want to do that. But then Charles is going to take the full front. X, so. Uh, you could go uh, here, right and that here. puts you less out yeah, of. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Are you going to be okay with that? Is yeah, it's fine. Okay? All right, I will finish I'll move, this. I'll move off. Luyetta up. All right, uh, you finish off the bale. The bale, Charles, uh, you fire your, you knock another arrow into your, uh, into your, into your bow, and uh, with one more shot, with one more clean shot, uh, you you uh, knock the bale's head off, and the, the bale lets uh, one last screech from its throat thing. I don't know. Do, 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 is arachnids have throats? I don't know. It doesn't matter anymore. It's dead. It doesn't matter. And uh, it it doesn't matter it, how uh, much. Ex oh, sorry. No, no, it twitches. It twitches a bit, and then it falls over. And uh, it doesn't matter how much XP you get; it's you level up. <laughs> da, 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 da. But that's uh, fifteen SP. Fifteen SP. Uh, yeah, because you leveled right. up, and then you uh, killed the bale. All the right, spider I am is max level. The spider is dead. <coughs> I can promote now. You can promote now. Uh, do you have artwork for it? I don't. <laughs> then I will promote next time. That's what we're going to have to do with uh, Folky, too. <laughs> yeah. You could promote now, and I could just, like, show the artwork whenever it's done. Like, prob Well, I mean, like, not now, just... now, but... But that's not as cool. That's fair. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. I moved my characters in accordance with the plan. Oh, ignore that ten. All right. Okay. So all that is remaining is uh, Esgal, Snickers, and Tristana and Adri. 
Nice. All right. Who wants to go next? <coughs> Fine, I, I guess Esk will <laughs> just rush in and just be like, Come at me, bro! <laughs> okay. All right. Because <laughs> he can't really reach them to attack. All right. <clears throat> and we're just going to wait on Shiner. Yes. Uh, Adria has not moved yet. Wait a minute, I can just totally go up here. What am I doing? Um, what are you doing? Oh, I know what I was doing. <laughs> For... Uh... Yeah. Alright. Oh, that's a, good, that's a good spot to be in. Yep, yep. Uh... Am back, am back, am okay, Welcome okay, back. Back. am moving. What, how move? <laughs> who should, who? Uh, no pressure <clears throat> on anyone. That should, that's your decision. Look at the map and see, uh, strategize. I know, I'm trying to. I wanna win. Oh, no, wait, no, we're supposed to be defensive, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're trying. <sighs> Then again, Tristana is a fucking tank, so... Yeah, but the poison is... Eh. That's uh, I don't want poison. Um... Once we... Okay, then do we have... People laughing outside my apartment complex, that's creepy. So... Do we have a defensive plan set in place? I'm sorry, I, I had to multitask. <coughs> like yeah, we do. Goals. We're just gonna kill the bug guys, and we have our archers uh, doing that, basically. Okay, so I can just... Basically what I'm doing now is just moving somewhere. Yeah, as long as you're yeah. out of the range. And then, basically, after the next <clears throat> turn, <sighs> we just go ham on the Bonewalker idiots. Hi. Okay. Let's move Snickers. I know. I'm gonna move Snickers over here. <coughs> All right. Just because. Enemy phase. Enough. So, this bale. One, two, three, four. Oh God. Yeah. Oof. Oh. It has a disgusting face. It does have a disgusting oh God, face. Charles, that disgusting no. face is coming straight for Charles. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> oh, wait, but right. he has plus three to all of his stats, so... Maybe he does, so it's, it should be okay. The poison's still gonna hurt, though. Alright, so the bale... It reaches out with one with, with its talons. It's a... And it's bites down upon, it bites down on Charles' shirt with its mandibles, and like... <laughs> like <laughs> Ew! Shh! <laughs> Venom sp venom splatters everywhere. That's the exact noise it makes. Yeah. Let's go. Be motorboarding right. Charles? Oh my god. Uh Charles, you take Charles, you take uh you take uh ten damage and you are now poisoned. Uh, this is the first time I've been in this state. Oh my god. You're right, it isn't. <laughs> Alright, this bone walker is gonna come down. One, two, three. Oh, for... And the bone walker. Um <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry. Okay, nineteen attack, nineteen. Alright, nineteen attack plus that eight might weapon. Oh. Uh, it's going to be 27 versus uh, 15. It's going to be 12. Um. And uh, I can't seem to... I can't seem to open up Charles. I got it. I took oh, my! 
Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Charles, you are left with a uh, one health. One health? I just brought him down to thirteen. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was about to say. Oh. Um, excuse me. Oh, I'm talking about the. I'm talking. Scary. Um, hold on. I took the damage from the bale and the bone walker. I brought him down from thirty-five to thirteen with the total. Okay, damage. thank. You. Okay, okay. I, all right, got gotcha. Oh, right, you're good. You're okay. You're not at one health. Okay. Whew. I I can do math, my dude. You don't have to scare me like that. No, no, no. I know you can do math. Anyways, uh, the bone walker is gonna one, two, three, four, five. It's not gonna. It actually can't reach, but. Okay, so this guy is gonna come towards one, two, three, four. Come, gonna come towards Ivory. Yes. Um. And the bone walker is gonna attempt to hit Ivory with the sword that it has stolen from a probably a dead person. But first, raging, raging guard, attack plus a pl- attack plus four to so an ally during combat. Uh, Speed, defense, res. All, 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 yeah, all stats. I just call it spectrum plus four because it, so, it's yeah. easier to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, raging guard. It activates. So ivory is actually sitting at a clean, <clears throat> uh, at his clean twenty-seven attack, <laughs> twenty-two defense. No, hold on. Yeah, twenty-two defense. Twenty-two defense. So like, this is gonna not do very much damage. Yeah, no, it's gonna do like two damage. To ivory ivory takes two damage but ivory transforms into a dragon and breathes ice, ice upon this ice upon the bone walker and the bone walker the flame on its head goes out as Ooh. the cold as like the chill is like the moist chilly air uh, washes over it freezing it solid and uh, i'm gonna go ahead and calculate that damage real quick s looks at the bone walker well I suppose he couldn't let it go. Lorietta looks at him. <laughs> she says nothing. And that's actually going to be 41 damage. So that's exactly enough to take the Bone Walker out. The Bone Walker is down and out. Uh, Adri, yeah, you've taken, you already done the two damage. So yeah, you're good. As you take five <laughs> pun damage. As <laughs> <laughs> takes five pun damage. And yeah, uh, Ivory will also gain a good uh, eighty experience. But hold on, yeah, eighty experience points. So that's gonna be they're gonna be he's gonna be sitting at level nineteen actually. Da, 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 da. Yeah, and the Bone Walker is down for the count. This bone walker, however, is going to go for Adri because Adri has weapon triangle disadvantage. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, bone walker. What? I'm not good enough for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck you too. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, coming off of 19 attack, 27 with weapon triangle advantage to 31. But versus uh, what's Adri's defense currently? I'm sorry, what? What's Adri's, Adri's defense? defense? Um, it is twenty-four. All right, uh, <coughs> that's yeah, that's, you're pretty safe. Okay, uh, twenty-four. Uh, thirty minus thirty-one minus twenty-four is seven. You take seven damage. Cool. Adri, you fight back, um, transforming into a tiger. Uh, you body check the bone walker. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and calculate that damage for you. It's 22 uh, plus uh, 10. So 32. Thank you. Attack. 32. What we're trying to advantage is 37. Uh, disadvantage, I'm sorry. Uh, with, that's uh, yeah. 28. Uh, okay. So that's going to be 28 versus the bone walker's defense. Uh, it's going to be 10. Uh, the bone walker will thusly take. Uh, seven, uh, 18 damage. And the Bone Walker will take... Yeah, just 18 damage. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah. that's gonna leave it sitting at 23. Ally phase? For uh, yes, ally. one ally? Or two, two allies. allies. 
Technically, we should have four allies because split. God. Split's internet exploded. Yeah. But I can't choose Split's characters for him, so... That's fair. So Ivory's gonna go ahead and attack this Bonewalker. Uh, yeah, same same results. Ivory breathes ice, the Bonewalker freezes solid and falls, and Ivory taps the Bonewalker daintily with his finger. <laughs> and the Bonewalker falls over and shatters into a, into a, a thousand fragments of bone and ice. Nice. Yeah. So that's gonna be a... It's gonna be a good old 70 experience right there for old ivory. <laughs> yeah. And uh, in the meantime, Manica. So one, two, three, four are gonna come up into come up into range of this bone walker and attack right there and then with um first of all twenty two attack, but also using uh Where did Manica go. Manica went over here. Using uh, the owl tone. Underneath of Loki. Here, let me let me move him to the top. If I could, if this computer would stop not being being unresponsive, there we go. Now Falky is missing. <laughs> All right. So it's a plus two to each stat. After a, so it's actually going to be twenty four damage, thirty three, for a total of thirty three plus a. 18 speed. Okay, so that's going to be 20 speed versus the uh, Bone Walker's <clears throat> 15. So that's actually going to be able to double the Bone Walker. The Bone Walker goes down. Nice. Amanica thrusts out his hands, golden strings digging into the ground, and with a single pulse, a cloud of owls bursts from the a cloud of magical owls bursts from the ground and engulfs the bone walker and when they have dissipated when the flock is gone the bone walker has been taken with them all right player phase so uh charles you should probably heal yeah that would be nice nah he's fine uh yeah i heal him for 10 all right all right charles you're healed for 10 damage you're healed for 10 damage I'm gonna attack this thing now. Uh, one, two, three. All right, smart move. All right, Charles, you attack the bale. <clears throat> Same as uh, since you leveled up, I need to look at your stats again. And what's your attack again? Oh, right, attack is now nineteen. All right, nineteen. And you're. And I got. Right. I got a bonus to everything except for attack because, of course, I did. F. <laughs> it's gonna be 29 times. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a uh, 45 damage minus the uh, 20 defense. So it's gonna be 15. 15. That's gonna be leaving leaving the uh, bale with 10 damage. You draw your bow. You strike the bale's exoskeleton. You are taking revenge for the fact that it poisoned you for five damage <clears throat> every turn. Nice. And yeah, that's it. Um, I can't really level up from this, so if anyone else wants to finish it off. I think I'm going to have Folky kill it and then have Luyetta finish you off because you're still poisoned. And then... Nice. Yeah. Uh, so Lean's gonna dance for Luyetta. Okay. Luyetta's gonna come heal Charles. All right, Charles, you are yeah. topped off with the damage. Yay. And then Folky's going to finish off the bug. All right, you finish off the bug. As it turns out, tigers are much more powerful than giant spiders. And the giant <laughs> spider <clears throat> falls over dead after being struck by a very large jungle cat. All right, uh, Charles. For a yeah, you don't get an experience yeah, because you're like I do get SP. Though. <laughs> you do get XP, you do get SP. Yes, but like uh, only if you kill stuff. Uh, that's true. Uh, Folky, however, uh, gains. It doesn't matter. You leveled up. You're, yeah. you're level twenty anyway. Doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> that's gonna be a fifteen SP. 
Alright. Right. Oh, wait, forgot to. There we go. Okay. Uh, there's only the Bone Walker remaining, and uh, who has not moved yet? Tristana has not moved. Snickers has not moved. Shine. I'm here. I will fight. Who? Who? Wait, but I don't want to get poison stabbed. No, the no. Nope, there's gone. no more bugs left. Oh, oh, okay, perfect. Wait, can I even reach up there? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. By the way. All right. You can reach well past there. You you can move seven spaces now since you're. Oh promoted. yeah, I forgot. Hang on, my computer's being dumb. I'm gonna go. It's okay. My here. computer's being dumb too. Uh, two spaces. Uh, two spaces away. Uh, reminder. I'm stupid. Assault from two faces away. Kill him. Assault and battery. All right. All right. So that's going to be. Uh, I don't think it matters, actually. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to calculate this because, like, the Bone Walker can't uh, <laughs> counterattack, and that's a res of zero. So, yeah. Uh, Tristana. Third, you fire. You, you, you raise. You heft your staff into the air, and a beam of light smashes into the Bone Walker, and the Bone Walker disintegrates. Yes. I love that for him. Yeah, uh, Tristana, you gain one second. No problem, Bob. 20, all right, 22, 16, and uh, 40 experience. Oh, perfect. All right, I'm going to take you guys back to the dungeon screen. All right, the spiders have keeled over. Nice. Hey, there's a treasure chest over here. Does it require a lock pick situation? Probably. Yeah. I got this. Of what? And he forgets that he can not swim. <laughs> Stop oh, it. No. Oh. <laughs> we gotta pull some out of the water again. I'm gonna fly above the water because I can do that. You can do that. Ciao. Ciao. What? It's in the box. All right. Scott, you're gonna have to DM me what you're saying because I can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry. All right, you open up the chest, Tristana, and inside you find. A. You find five Soma. Oh. What do that do? Uh, Soma is an uh, item that lets you uh, raise your attack by two uh, if you use it. Uh... So. Yeah, so one per player. Hell yeah. Sounds fantastic. <sighs> cool. Stupid computer. What did you find? Uh, I found these things that raise your attack. Forgot what they're called. Don't really care, but Soma. hey! Free attack Soma. points. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Whatever. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, right. swim, stop, swim. Stop saying swim, swim, swim. What's wrong oh, with you two? Never. Do you have to do that in order to swim? Is that like a thing? Yes. One, two, three. Yes. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? <coughs> you should really stop going in the water. <coughs> <sighs> oh. Uh, hello there. Uh, who, are, who are you? What is your name? Uh, I'm Luyetta. I just pulled you out of the water for the second time. Oh god, does he have amnesia? Might. Um. Forgive me. I, I don't quite recall meeting you. I. Uh. <coughs> oh. Um. <clears throat> please uh, ignore anything you may have heard. Um. Please uh, allow me to intro properly introduce myself. My name is Malafine Lithos. It's an honor to meet you. It's an honor to meet you too. I think you may have 
hit your head on a rock or something, so maybe you should just sit, sit on sit on the back of my horse here. We'll just kind of take it easy. In just any effort to hide any like trace of S is just like, I think that would be a, a wonderful gesture. Thank you very much. Of course. <laughs> and she just kind of starts chatting with him about like the portals and how like he just kind of showed up here and she's like, I'm the princess of this land and this land seems so different. I wonder what your place is like, you know, blah, 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 blah. And he starts telling her about the, about where he came from, the, the land of Irion and just all of the, the people he traveled with and yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile. Very descriptive. <laughs> meanwhile. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. swim. Brother, is there anything else we can swim to? We must like, like check. I tried to say like and check at the same time, and it was like lack. I think you may have hit yourself as well. Probably. What about the other side of that lake? Swim, swim, swim. Okay. Uh, should we go on break or? Yeah, we should go on break. Yeah. It's a six. It's a six oh nine PST right now, so it's a Sounds yeah. Good. Like. All right, and as you guys do laps around the lake, everybody stares at you. And we're gonna, and we're gonna go on break, so we're gonna see you guys later, okay? What is wrong with my? We are demonetized. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck! Okay, I think we've swam all we can. I don't think there's anything more to explore. Except for this patch of darkness. You explore the patch of darkness. Alright, I don't think there's anything in the patch of darkness. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else up here. I think it was just for the chest. Hold on, let me, uh, it'll be a little bit more of the shore for- Ah! Alright, uh, let me reveal the, some of the- ugh. Stupid computer, why aren't you working? This is the- this is the mood for today. Computer's not working. Computer machine broke. I'm just gonna not use the polygon reveal. There we go. You have thoroughly explored the area around the lake. Okay, it's just this, so there's just some idiots. Let's just ignore them. Um, but you, but judging from the judging from like the draft and the draft in the cave, there is more cave to explore. So it's not just a bunch of walls. So from the left. Yeah, from uh, yeah. There's a lot of cave to explore. All right, then let's go left, even though there's no water. Can't swim, swim, swim. Looks like it's swimming time! <laughs> no, it's not. Folky, like, she gets out of the water right here. And she, like, steps here. And then that's whenever she, like, does the shaky shake to dry off. So it gets on Charles. <laughs> now he's gonna smell like wet tiger. Now, Char Charles, you take one musk damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Scott is on mute. Now he's no longer on mute. Okay. Everything I just said was... Wow. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm just going to redo everything I said from the top. No. No, not doing that. 
Charles has taken one musk damage. Not like it, not like it matters. You, heal, you, you don't take damage outside of combat. <sighs> Was that really necessary? Yes. You're just in the way. We couldn't have that. Forgive me for that. <sighs> oh, some barrels. I know someone who would love to explore those. Too bad he's out guarding the that guy's house. I really don't think he needs that much protection. He seems fine. So Never. is there anyone else? Maybe there's someone else who can go after it. You see a sniper oh. on patrol. Don't worry, I got this. Uh, Lane's gonna try and make a stealth kill. Alright. Um, I may have realized that Lane doesn't have Stanley doesn't have these stats, so, like, do you remember her stats from Kansas Mercy? You know what I can do is I can get up to roll 20! <laughs> you could get up the sheet. Look at that. Yeah, give me a second. I gotta hack in. I accidentally opened two tabs of at this one, but, you know, that's fine. Oh my god. We're really doing this, huh? <laughs> yeah. Roll20.net. Okay. Underdark. Hooray. Wow. Memories. I mean, she was level, like, not a lot. Who? Level not a lot. <laughs> uh, I mean. Alright. Yeah, Cannibal Just Conspiracy stopped at level little... 5, so... That's yeah, fair. so she's level four on this sheet, so that's pretty close. Uh, it was her really meant to be a one shot, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then it, was... it became the whole thing, and it like took like a year. <laughs> and it wasn't and man wasn't fantastic for that whole time. Mm hmm. So what would I be looking at a bonus for this? Uh, probably stealth since you're making a stealth kill. So that would be plus three stealth. Yeah. This is real D and D stats instead of this this game's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bold of you to assume this isn't real D and D. It's just straight up not. It's oh wow, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty. That's a pretty good roll. Okay, so Aline, you snipe the sniper, uh, but he doesn't see you. He doesn't see you. Uh, he looks around. Uh, he. Also, if you engage the sniper, he will have taken a, he will have taken five damage, and he and his troop will have, he and his cohort will have taken five damage. You don't a surprise attack. Wow, all that time in the manor hasn't paid off. I mean, it has paid off. Shit, fuck. Oh my god. Who's there? She hides behind a boulder and waits for the eye icon to close. <laughs> the sniper does not see lean however because that was a pretty good stealth that was a pretty good stealth bonus so that was that was a pretty good stealth shot uh but as for the, as for the rest of you you are free to explore the crates without uh triggering the uh sniper's aggro i think mal will try and go after it or just all take right. them out all right let's see what's in these Okay, uh, give me a dice roll. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. Um, per is this a perception thing? What is this? Investigation. Investigation. I think my investigation was something along like, um, oh, no, wait. My wisdom is three, so it would be a mm -hmm. plus, plus, per uh, plus proficiency bonus, so it would be a six. Okay. So, give me a little roll. Oh. <laughs> F. Okay. <laughs> you break open the crate. Uh, you find a. Uh, yeah, you find flour. <laughs> it's still something. Yeah, it's still something, but it's not a very good something. I would not recommend eating this. 
I'll try All this right. one then. That's, That's not much better. No, it's better than flour. <laughs> I guess. All right. In that one, you find dried fish. Okay. A lot of provisions around here. Hmm. Uh, Luliet, are you checking traits as well? No, nah, I'm just with him because he's still on the horse. She's just like oh, yeah. holding him right. so he doesn't fall over, so he's still leaning down. So he doesn't <laughs> take another prat fall into the water. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, check that one. Oh my god, it's just being upward. It's go. I have a good feeling about your next roll. We'll see. All right, you have a uh, you have one more roll to uh you have one more roll because there's one more crate. All right. So in that one, uh, yeah. eh, well, it's still higher. Okay, so in the first one, you found uh, you saw, oh, well, you found raw meat, and right. the second one, uh, also raw meat. <laughs> Put flour in Mal's hair. What was that? I'm looking at the chat. Put flour in mouse hair. Yeah, it's it's flour. <laughs> Alright, these uh yeah, these crates course. and barrels have been all broken apart. And surprising the sniper has not spotted you breaking them apart yet or or stealing stuff from them yet. Since by uh, now but... the eye icon would have closed, Lean's gonna go for another shot. Alright, uh roll me stealth. Wow. Oh, well, I oh, forgot that Lean's a god. <laughs> Lean is a god. Okay, so the, sni the sniper still this. the sniper still doesn't see you as you take a shot from like all the way over there. Uh, the sniper whirls around again. He's starting to he's starting to hurt really badly. He's like he's starting to bleed out of his neck, and he's like, "I really gotta." Oh man, I really gotta. I really gotta treat this. He begins to walk away into the darkness. Nasty bugs in here, huh? Lane just <laughs> T-poses through the wall and kills him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if I recall, it was Lane who did all the T-posing. Uh, yeah, well, she... I didn't do T-posing yet. That wasn't my thing quite yet, but, like, I did a lot of nat 20s. Like, whenever I, like, did that thing on the ogre. You seduced a sarcophagus. Yeah, I also, like, told that really good pawn on that ogre and made him, like, do something. I don't remember what it was. That right. was one of my uh, best moments. Continuing to the view. It was quite a nice shot there. Oh, thank you. I've got a lot of training. I can tell. Well, what are we going to do about this one? Uh, I can try again. I mean, I'm, like, really small, but maybe the horse parade over here needs to get out of the way. Let me try this myself. I oh. have a pretty good sneaking suspicion myself. Sure. My stealth is actually 11. <laughs> Alright, Malphine, what are you doing? Uh, let's do a sneak attack on him. Just attack him. Alright, sneak attack. Uh, ra stealth. Hey, I'm natural 20. Wow! Oh, you got a 20. Nice. Not bad. Alright, so you sneak up from the Barbarian from behind. The Barbarian does not notice you whatsoever. If I can click the thing! <laughs> oh, oh, right. I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on reveal area. And actually, you do this so well. You, you uh, sneak around. So you, you do the sneak attack so well that the sniper actually doesn't notice you. That the sniper doesn't. Oh right, because he. Yeah, because he's over there. He doesn't hear. He doesn't hear the barbarian getting cut in the back. So that's going to be a ten damage off of the. It's going to be ten damage off of the barbarian and, it, and its cohort when you go into battle. Nice. Speaking of which. Nice. All right. Hey Atlas, please put please put persona on the switch. Please. Hey look, it's the Red Baron. <laughs> Silly Scott, that's a blue unit. Squidward. <laughs> 
This dungeon belongs to the Red Baron! <laughs> Alright. Do you want to do any switching around of units before uh, we begin? Hmm. I'm feeling I, I kind of want to fight with him a bit. Also, why is he still named Eskal? Because I may have not changed it. <laughs> I may have not changed Whoops. it on the screen. Oopsie. As soon as he <laughs> he he falls off of Lieta's horse and then he becomes <laughs> Eskal again. <laughs> Well, here we are again. It is always such a pleasure. And Moyad is like oh, on and puts him back on the horse. Oh, hey, remember when he tried to kill me? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and then she's like thinking, like, did he just not? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Out. All right. Not. Right, any uh, moving around of positions or oh, um, no. Uh, that oh. ivory is dead. It's going to be dead if the barbarian attacks them. So, sp no. switch Snickers with ivory. Or, switch okay. Snickers with actually, yeah. Ivory. Give Snickers some time to shine. Yeah. Any of anything else? Hmm. Charles doesn't need any more anything, so switch Mal with Charles. All right. Anything else? Else? Anyone? Mm. I don't think so. I think we're good. All right, you're good. Excellent. Let's go. All right, face. Fingers, you're up. Who's up? I, I want to I, I want to see Snickers fight Snickers. It's you. Oh, Shine. okay. Uh, I'm fight gonna. Baron. I'm gonna go to the. Baron. Scott, is that actually a good idea? That's a good question. What are the stats of the Baron? Yeah, no. What Baron's... are the stats of the boy? Yeah, the Baron. All right, the Baron's stats are as follows. Uh, hold on. All right, so Baron He's got 44 HP. 25 attack. Um, uh, nine, nah, not 19 speed. Uh, three speed. Uh, 27 defense. And two res. I'm staying away from the Baron. Uh, meanwhile, Snickers' stats are as follows. Uh, 24 HP, 25 attack, 26 speed, 20 defense, and 20 res. So you actually, you should be okay. He's a fast girl. Oh, I should. Oh, sh fast. All right, then let's go get the fucking Baron. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Snickers, you charge up to the Baron with the uh, with your base in hand. It was like you did. You didn't come here with any any other any other anything else to. So you just decided to go for blunt force trauma. You leap into the air somehow, holding this holding this base because you know probably gremlin magic or something, <laughs> gremlin physics. I don't know. In your universe, some in your in your universe, there was an intense train chase where nobody died. So, <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen that, and I untrue. We killed the baker. That is true. We did kill the baker. Oh yeah, we did you kill the baker. Yeah. Well, Sam. Well, nobody important died. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. So it's gonna Shit. be twenty-five, fourteen. So it's going to be a clean 44 damage coming off of Snickers right there. So it's going to be oh. 44 versus, versus the Armored Knight's uh, 20, uh, 27 defense. Uh, the Baron's 27 defense. So that's going to be 17 damage on the Baron for this first hit. Nice. I got him. All right, so it's going to... The Baron uh, will... Uh, and actually, it's going to be uh, plus one cooldown for uh, Snickers as well, so it's going to be three. The Baron uh, picks up his Iron Lance. It, no, it's not his Iron Lance. His Seal Lance and uh, jams it into and attempts to jam it into Snickers. Snickers rolls out of the way, but uh, her uh, but her this, her hoodie gets cut and she like kind of bangs her head on the on the lance. Oh. oh. So, huh. That was the most adorable impact noise I've heard. Oh. <laughs> 
Belt. So it's going to be with weapon triangle Amazing. disadvantage. Do it again. Eight. And yeah, it's going to be eight damage on Snickers. Snickers is going. Oh, Snickers no is left at sixteen. All right, and Snickers, uh, since you, you outspeed the Baron. You me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you swing your axe base around your your base around, oh, and you oh, ram oh, the Baron. Oh, oh. <laughs> And you slam the Baron in the side of the in the side of the in the side again. Yes. Eat metal, you piece of shit. <laughs> and yeah, that's gonna leave the Baron at ten HP. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna have Mal charge in with the crest with his crescent blade and attack. The oh, wait, 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 wait. Barbarian stats. Barbarian stats. Yes. First of all, the barbarian stats are. So that barbarian's got forty HP. Uh, twenty-one attack. Twenty-one. Uh, fifteen speed. Fifteen. Uh, nineteen defense and one res. Yeah, I'm gonna have him charge in and attack with his crescent blade. Let's do this. All right. Uh. I know the Baron's right there, but fuck it. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead. It's gonna be your personal refined weapon. That's not that's that your attack stat is not 14. Okay, let's see. 20. Wow. 14. 34. 38. Weapon triangle advantage. Uh, versus the defense of the barbarian, which is 19. So uh the barbarian takes 19 damage. So the barbarian, so Mal, uh, you slash the barbarian with your crescent blade. The barbarian, the barbarian t pulls out his axe and he, sl and he slices into you. Malafane, you take, um, Malafane, you take uh, twenty-five minus your defense, which is uh, twenty-three. You take two damage. All right. And uh, you out you actually outspeed, so uh, you slice the barbarian again. Also Once more. Blade. Wait, he attacked me. I have warding blade. You do have warding blade, so, so I uh, can you're, trigger. Uh... You can trigger. <laughs> you can trigger iceberg. <laughs> so that's fifty percent of your. Yes, fifty percent of your res right there. So that's fifteen plus. Okay, yeah, he's dead. For my Hi. mother. Your bl your blade. Your blade. Cools down to the temperature of, of uh, the temperature of ice, and you slash the barbarian, and the barbarian falls over, dead. Nice. All right. Hey, who's next? Who's next? Mm. The boy. Oh shit! What up? Shit! What up? Uh. Yes, I will have. Actually, oh, by the way, the Baron is a promoted class, I so figured. it can move five spaces. Ew. I'm gonna have Adri stand here because I have a feeling that weapon triangle disadvantage is going to happen. I mean, most of the most of the rest of the group hasn't moved yet, so. And I'm just gonna actually wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna get just in case, just in mm -hmm. case. If Lean chooses to attack, I'm gonna use Rally Defense. All right, you, you, have, you now have plus four defense. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, yeah. So, and then I'm just gonna move over there. Then Lean will attack and finish off the Baron. All right, uh, Lean, go ahead and use that bow of yours. Okay, so that's twenty-two attack plus twelve, and it's a uh, just flat damage. So that's thirty-four versus the Baron's defense. So the Baron is twenty-seven defense. So. Um, actually, that's, uh, the first shot's not enough to kill, but the second shot is. So, Lean, uh, you fire your bow twice. 
and yeah, you get the Baron in both eyes. The Baron fall. The Baron falls over and lands to the ground with a clunk. Snickers kind of like kicks it, <laughs> kicks him. <laughs> yeah, die. <laughs> All right. There's one more enemy left. Who do you, who do you want to uh, send to destroy it? Uh, Manica need seriously needs some leveling up. I'd say Manica, Manica. does serious needs. Uh, Manica is uh, unfortunately going to be controlled in an ally phase because the Jojo's not here. Uh, anyone opposed to this? I'm not. All right. Then we prematurely end player phase. Okay. All right. So this barbarian, check who is. All right. So the barbarian is going to come over to a uh, manica, because he has the lowest defense. I did not think this through. And the barbarian is going to attack manica. Uh, with weapon triangle disadvantage, so that's going to be 25 damage versus Manica's defense, which is 13, which is 12. So it's going to just do 13 damage on Manica. Whew. Uh, Manica, uh... All right, and that's it. Ally phase. Manica, Manica steps back. Yeah. Yeah, he steps back towards Tristana. And he casts he casts Roar Owl. Owls burst from the ground to just dis- to uh, completely annihilate the barbarian because he thought that he could touch Manica with his axe. No, listen to this. This is what he gets. Birds to the face. Boom. He's dead. Gone. I'm sorry. Bye. I'm sorry. What did you do to the barbarian? Roar Owl. No, no, no. I mean, what word did you use specifically? Birds to the face. It starts with an A. I don't know. I don't remember what I said. Annihilate. <laughs> Annihilated the barbarian. The birds of annihilation. <laughs> the birds of annihilation. All right. Yes, and keep quoting that. Annihil- that makes you very clever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The barbarian is down. The sniper has not noticed that now has not noticed you guys yet. He is busy oh tending God. to his wounds. Look, man, Lean's got some pretty good. Uh, Lean's got some pretty good stealth. Clearly, Mal looks to the other two, just for like a nod of approval, as if just like go for it. Um, wait, he's telling them like Lean to go for it, he's, he's... or he wants a nod. Oh, he wants a nod. Lean gives him a hearty thumbs up. All right. Uh, D20 plus 11. Here we go. Still 16. Yeah, still 16. Still pretty good. Uh, Malifane, uh, you uh, walk up to the, you sneak up to the sniper and you... Uh, Slash at him, yeah. Slash at him from the side. The sniper, the sniper sees you, but he is not able to avoid taking damage. So he's now a sitting. So his cohort will now be s- missing, like what, fifteen <laughs> HP now? Damn. <laughs> and I'm gonna take this back to the combat screen. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody right, takes fifteen damage. Everybody takes fifteen damage. One second. There we go. I just say All having right. three cameo characters is um, it just feels so right for me. Yeah, this is fun. <laughs> Shame they'll disappear after this dungeon. 
Wait, is it this dungeon yeah. or this session? The... Uh, it's... No, it's, it's going to be this. It, it'll have to be the session. Oh, oh well. But if you get, if, if, but if you, if you, the audience, like seeing this, then uh, just donate, just donate two thousand bits to the, just donate two thousand bits, and uh, who knows, another one of these characters will pop up again. We have one more cameo from what I've heard before the rotation continues, and I'm not going to say what it is, but I've heard it's a doozy. <laughs> All right, uh, right, your opening formation. Sorry about that. Right, 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 right. Also, heal entry, please. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's not heal you. Manica. That's not you. They get healed after battle. Yeah, they do get healed after battle. Oh. So, okay. but it... I have I have to do I have to do JoJo's characters because uh, I will heal I... my own characters then. Yeah. yeah. And then Shiner, your uh, Snickers, right there. All right, formation <laughs> is complete. Ooh, I'm going to switch um, Mal with Adri. So I can do right. that myself, actually. You can do that yourself. Um, mainly because I just want to... Um, as long as we keep the flying units in the, uh, oh god, get Ivory back there. Get Ivory back there. Where do you want, who do you want to switch him with? Anyone have a preference? Not Manica. Okay. One of these twos. What do you think, Uprising? I don't care. Should I have Mal move up, or? Lugeta can easily body these fools, so... Then let's have it be Lulietta. Yeah. All right, Lulietta switching with Ivory. Uh, keep in mind, however, the sniper is also promoted, so it, you will be able to move six spaces as an infantry unit. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Are we all are we all prepared? Okay, good. Yes. Excellent. Okay. All right. I'm going to suggest this. Someone take out that archer before they get close to any of our flyers. But first, stats. Yes, stats. Which one? The archer? Archer. Just the archer. Got it. All right. The archer's stats. 37 HP. Uh, 19 attack. Uh, 22 speed. 22 speed. 10 defense, 2 res. Right, okay. Uh, I'm going to have Adri body this archer. All right. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to calculate that. <laughs> I, think, I think you do more damage than to, to the archer than... <laughs> Hold on. Actually, no, I might need to calculate that. What's Adri's attack again? 20... Uh, it is... 22. Plus, yeah, plus Beast Stone is 32. All right. 32 minus uh, the defense of the guy. It's 10. So it's 22. So actually, no. That's just enough to keep. That's just enough to take it out. Yeah. Nice. Adri, you just leap into action. You pounce on the archer. The ar yeah, and then just like you go for the jugular. He's gone. Okay. Right. So the archer will. The archer will grant you uh, 60 experience and three SP. Oh, to so kill. close. So I need five close. more SP. How much SP? Five. Uh, three SP. To the kill. All right, who's next? I need five more XP. Um, I am going to body the sniper. All right, good choice. The sniper would have been very dangerous. Okay, but not anymore because uh, Lugeta is just going He's to dead. trample on. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. He sees a hoof. He's dead, Jim. And that's it. The sniper begins to draw begins to draw his bow, but from behind a horse just tramples on his back and he's gone. Oh, the, I sniper just, the sniper just did not have a good day. The sniper just did not. 
All right, Luyetta, you gain. Uh, you gain 100 experience points, actually, because that was a level one sniper promoted class. Sweet. So, yeah, level up. Da, 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 da. Uh, that's actually going to be. Uh, actually, gonna be, yeah, it's going to be a 24 SP plus three. So, that's going to be 27 SP. That's a All good right. roll. As is, that's a really good roll. Wow. And okay, as you guys deliberate on who is going to kill that last archer. Um I'm gonna make Snickers attempt to kill them. They're so riled I... up with with the fighting passion. And so, with that said, we're gonna attack. Right. What's Blitzkrieg? You nail the archer. Uh I think your attack is actually higher than the archer the, the archer's defense in the first place, so like <laughs> Yeah. Uh, the archer just goes down. You Yikes. brutally whack your base into the you whack your base into the back of the archer, and the archer just goes flying like yeet. Yeet. The archer is down. Bye. <laughs> well, that just happened. Yep. Right, well, I think we're all clear now. I think kicks over Sniper, which is apparently still here. Sorry, I was I was just adjusting I was I was adjusting your uh, open Malphane formation pokes in the, the, the battle screen. pokes the sniper. <laughs> the sniper is dead. <laughs> Brother D dead. Splash <laughs> Hold on one second. All right, where were we? Oh, right. <clears throat> Cannonballs. <clears throat> swim, swim, swim. swim, swim. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Uh, right. Hey, another box! Another box? Are you going to open it? Maybe. Yeah, I'll open it. Let me, uh... Tristana, Let me you very get tiredly open... <laughs> Tristana, you very uh, tiredly open the box. Very yeah, tired, and I'm making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. Just mix up. I always say paces fast, and it's just not. No, no, no. All right. Inside this one is a master seal. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, if you just got you just got a free master seal from that chest. Congratulations. Thank you. Is there anything more? Is, is there something here? Uh, that is empty void. <laughs> swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Folky, you run into the wall and you take five running into the wall damage. No, <laughs> I, I take swimming. void damage and then I go back in the water. But I do All run right. into the wall. <laughs> donk. She sinks a little. You go donk into the wall and you, you fall into the water. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. swim. You fall into the water. Drown, drown, drown. <laughs> drown, drown, drown. <sighs> you know, right. a friend of mine has difficulty with swimming. <laughs> well, they sure don't. Apparently not. Good on them, though. Anyways, shall we move forward? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the cuckoo clock. Oh, geez, the spells. 
You guys go on ahead. We're gonna keep swimming, swimming. We're studying. Yeah, we're uh, surveying the area. Surveying very hard. <laughs> As there okay, is if no you more say that, it sounds like an innuendo. So I'm gonna swim over here. No, sis, I didn't mean. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. So, so I guess they move forward. All right. Stand back. All right. There's an idiot. Huh? Well, I'm like gonna try and stealth shoot him. An idiot, like, All right. like a goliath Rolling stealth. or what? Well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna smack him with my stealth. All right. I think that was a plus. Three. Smack with stealth. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's actually pretty good. The mercenary does not notice. The, As the I shoot an the mercenary... arrow into his neck. Ah! Mercenary whirls around. Uh, but he does. Uh, unfortunately for him, he doesn't look in the right direction. <laughs> the arrow's. Hey, did you do that? The barber, <laughs> no, I, I, that wasn't me. Looks like, he looks like you got an arrow in your back. Watch out, I think. Watch out, I think we've got some intruders in this, uh, in this cave. The mercenary is on alert, but he does not know where to look. What an idiot. Hmm. Did you see something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, some dudes. It's fine, though. Eh. Yeah, I don't really think it's a problem. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. See if I can get him one more time. Okay. Be careful, Lean. I'm not really worried. I have survived way worse. I trust you. Oops. Okay. She slips on a rock. <laughs> she slips on a rock. And her, the and her turns around. drops on the ground and it goes like Bing! You snap a string on your violin. <laughs> no, I don't snap a string. You can drop a violin, it's fine. It doesn't snap a string. Have you ever okay. dropped a violin before? <laughs> Can't say I have. Mostly because I've it? never played a violin. Both the mercenary like... and the... <laughs> no, the mercenary and the barbarian hear this inst hear this screech hear this hear this instrument noise and they turn around and they see that Lean has dropped. They see as that Lean has dropped the violin and they look at each other and they look at Lean and then they pick up their weapons and they start stalking and they start skulking over to them. Hey boys! Hey boys! Hey! Whoa! We can work this out. We can work it out. I I mean, come on. I'm just a humble entertainer. Roll charisma. <laughs> charisma or persuasion? Or uh, this this system doesn't technically use persuasion, but roll persuasion anyway because you have it on you have it on cannibal conspiracy. Yeah. Oh shoot. Plus seven. Right, Fourteen so, plus seven. Twenty-three. All right, we'll bite. What kind of entertainer are you? you? Better not be here to. You better not be here for our treasure. Uh, I'm not here for the treasure. I was just told by the Bandit King that I would be hired to, like, you know, help liven up the place. Because as I'm looking around, it's looking pretty dreary. Uh, Lean kind of glances over in the direction of the party and says, like, 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 within a gl glance, like, guys, <laughs> like she's creating an opening, and then she keeps talking. She's like. I was just thinking I could help liven up the place, you know. He suggested some music, some dancing. I've got all sorts of dancing, whatever your type is. She kind of wiggles her shoulders and her hips. All right, they're distracted. Malphan, are you are you going to sneak attack? Am I, I see attacking or am I sneaking past them? Are you sneaking or are you attacking? What are you doing? What am I doing? I don't know. You're 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 the one who's using Malphan. Either way, I'm sneaking. So roll the yeah. Hey. Well, that's a pretty good, that's, you, uh, get past the mercenary with no trouble. And the barbarian with no trouble, actually, because it's a pretty good role. I think I'll just wait to see how this plays out first, mainly because uh, Scott is curious to see how this plays out. All right. Uh, is Lieta and Tristana, are they both also sneaking? Uh, Lieta's I following, but she's on a horse, so she can't sneak very well. Uh, yeah, but, no, uh, we cannot sneak. You can fly up. That's pretty good. 
I mean, what if they look up? They're too busy look at, look, looking at Lean's boobies. You're fine. <laughs> oh, I mean, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, where did roll 20 go? There you are. It always goes off screen. Why does it do this to me? Um, where did they go? Where did they go? There they are. Right. There's a lot of them. Oh, no. There, there's, there's more people there. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I, I think while, while he's distracted looking at that, I'm gonna stab him. Alright, oh, Malphane, you stab the barbarian. Uh, roll me stealth. I, oh, did the 29... That was for you. Um, that was for you sneaking behind it, or but yeah, unless you wanted to attack. Oh, that's still pretty good. So like, yeah, you attack the barbarian from behind. Uh, Shiner, roll me a, roll me a, stealth for a, just not not stealth. Roll me a, magic for Tristana. Magic for Tristana. Okay, hold on. Okay, three plus uh, how many? Magic ten, thirteen. So the mercenary is going to take... Okay, so the cohort in total is going to take 20 damage each. Yikes. So I'm going to go ahead and take you to the dungeon... To the... Uh, to the screen. Nice. See, that, that's what I was taking so long to do. Uh, I was uh, trying to set the formation all right. No, take your time. All right, let me set up the formation of the enemies, and I'm gonna be nice. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put the Baron. All right, here we are. I'm just gonna take a moment to speak out of character, but uh... but uh... Just... Mal just looks at them. It's just like. You know if you're you know you're doing a pretty bad job protecting your treasure if you can't even keep an eye on at least one of your chests. Bum 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 bum. Da, 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 da. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh. Are you gonna make that the fight theme? <laughs> I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is, I only got I can only play it for this less than thirty seconds because otherwise we're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> you fool! They only need ten seconds. <laughs> uh. All right. Do you want to do any switching I'm around? I'm sick of the... this song. Play something else. <laughs> okay. March to deliverance. March to deliverance. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's lit, boys. Okay. All right. Um. Any switching around you want to do? Well, the right side's good. I'd say... Adri need, maybe needs to move. No, I'm going to keep him where he is so he can finish take out the archer. Alright. Or at least earn enough to just get him to level 20. <laughs> Sweet. You just attack anybody. <laughs> You'll level Basically. <laughs> but attacking the archer would be conducive to the rest of your army. This is survival. Oh, it'd be it's a good idea to take out the archer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. That being said, yeet! Wait, are you guys done changing yeah. formation? Okay. Alright, Adri. Go ahead and attack that archer right there. The archer yeah. has the archer has a hold on twenty two speed so yeah it's gonna be just gonna be a one a, one strike uh so yeah one strike! don't get too excited it's not <laughs> i don't think it's enough to kill i get xp though right you do get xp though yes yes and 32 
The defense of the archer is 10. So the archer... It's not going to matter. If, if is, it, is it more than 5? Uh, yeah. Then it doesn't matter, because I'm at level 20 now. Oh yeah, everybody took 20 damage. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, no, that is a kill. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And how much SP also? Uh, 15. Fine. Nice. Da, 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 da. All right, who's next? Da, da. Okay, let's see. Who do I have to do art for for next session? <laughs> Charles and Adri for stalkers. And Folky. Yeah. Thank and you for Folky. the bits, sunshine. Thank you for the bits. Um. Who's next on your hit list? This barbarian. All right. Barbarian. So. All right, let me pull the lean sheet real quick. Yeah, there we go. 22 plus 12, it's uh, 34 minus the barbarian's defense of, of 19. No, no, that's enough to kill. Hold on. As the arrow flies, when she lets go of the arrow, like her boobies jiggle, and that's what he looks at as he dies. That's what he looks like. That's what he looks at as the arrow that pierces the through the skull on his thing head. You should see before you die. The last thing that you see before you die is Lean's tits. <laughs> all right, who's Perfectly next? Perfectly balanced as all things should be. <laughs> <laughs> he falls over. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> well, if no one else is gonna do it, then whoops. There we go. All right, Malifane, you kill the mercenary. I'm not gonna Woo! calculate this. It's already, it's all, it's probably good, probably fine. Do I damage him in the first turn, or you damage him in the first turn? Yes. Oh, oh well. All right, who's next? Mm. I don't, I don't want to attack with Charles because he's already left. You know what? I'm going to give Snickers some rally defense. Actually, no. Falky, are you at level 20 yet? Yeah. Oh, you are? Okay. Uh, Tristan and Lugan are the only ones right now who can get experience. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give Snickers a rally defense. Snickers! Right, we Hold. Don't hit. You know, I hear... I'm gonna attack some the nasty things about you. Barbarian. Show him who's boss. <laughs> Snickers, you scream, run towards the barbarian, and whack him with your face. <laughs> <laughs> the barbarian goes flying. Bye. He's gone. <laughs> All right. That was fun. All right, who's next? Um, well, <laughs> Bulky, Tristana, and uh, Luyetta have not moved yet. At this point, we may as well just kill them with these units. All right. <laughs> You'll, your base boost sound comes from your staff as <laughs> the mercenary is annihilated by your laser beam. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. The mercenary is going to net you up. Hold on. 40 experience. Alright. All right. Battle's over. Heading back to the dungeon. I said heading back to the I wanted to move the player's tag, dang it. There we go. Alrighty. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. So, did we kill them both, or...? Yes, you killed them both. Hold on, let me, uh... Uh... 
There we you go. Know, I'm looking at this, and this is probably a severe, this is probably going to be a really small dungeon. Oh, it's, uh, it's more. There's more to it than meets the eye. I see. Well, that was fun. I guess. Let's keep moving. Agreed. Let's get Tigers, going. Tigers, you probably want to catch up. Uh, I, I guess. Oh, whatever. Sure. Come on, brother. Swim, swim, swim. <laughs> Alright, you keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What's up here? Whoop! It's bitch. another. It's another bitch. Luyetta's just gonna charge her. All right, Luyetta, you charge her. I'm going to need you to roll athletics with advantage because you're also on horse. Let me see my. Ha! Bless you. Eesh. Well, I almost said roll 12, d20. Oh, th no, it did that thing. I'll just take the 11. No, I'll just do yes. this. Well, that works too. Alright, well, we'll take the 18. Uh, Lugeta, you barge into the witch, and, uh, because you are a- you are on a horse, and a very- you are a very large- you are on a very large animal, and also because you're several level- you're also in a promoted class, uh, the witch goes flying, hits the ground, and it's kind of like... Whee! Where's the witch? Oh, got that out of the way. Quite. Right. <clears throat> Is, oh, that's a bridge. In a void. Don't Is love there, these. Is there any other way around it? Well, there's some water, but it looks like it kind of goes into the... Yeah, you hear the rushing of a waterfall as you uh, see that the water uh, flows into the flows into the chasm. Okay, so maybe no swim. <laughs> if you swim in there, you're going to have to make an athletics check to get back out, and uh, I don't see that going very well. Looks like they have another one of their goons over there. Is there another bridge? In this uh... blacked out area? All right, you check the blackout area. Hold on. No, it's just more water. Why are we still playing March to Deliverance? Because it takes time to change the music, Scott, and I don't want to That's interrupt fair. game flow. Um, is it just this more is water empty over void? Here? Yeah. No, it's just empty void. Okay. Yeah. It, it, um, yeah. Like the grid is an indicator, like that. That's a. Uh, it's been revealed. The sniper. Uh, sees you guys bunching up near the bridge, and he begins to walk over towards the bridge. And Lane's he eyes like, you. Lane's like, I got this. The snipers have good eyes. <sighs> good old classic Lane stuff. She's like, hey, big boy! <laughs> the sniper with the jacket. The sniper, without a single word, takes a, picks it, pulls out a, pulls out a dagger, and he slashes the bridge. Oh. He slashes the two rope, the ropes in the bridge. The bridge falls into the chasm, and Lean is left standing on the standing on the edge of the chasm. Wow, you're stupid. You know that there's no way for you to leave this place now. The sniper, in response, scoffs, and he turns and he turns around. And Lean, as you look at as you look at where the sniper is going, you see a staircase. Uh oh, she shoots him. Uh, roll me a dex. Let me see what my dex bonus is. Plus two. You know, just looking at Charles and Mal side by side is a little scary. Why? I don't know. I did. It, <laughs> it just scares me. Okay, uh, so... Lean, you fire an arrow at the sniper, but the sniper is also is already on high alert, so he uh, kind of like dodges to the side, and he knocks he knocks he has an arrow knocked and ready to shoot anybody who tries to fly over the chasm. Oh, well, so, time to get. I know what seal I'm getting next. <laughs> the 
But it looks like you can't traverse this area quite just yet. <sighs> well, looks like there's only one thing left to do. No, he hurt my pride. I have to kill him. <laughs> I think you need to be a little bit more patient, Lean. Patience never resulted in the destruction of the well not destruction she just kind of left for a while but the um the leaving of the cannibal god hey i made a cannibal god leave the freaking plane i was in idiot did you ever do that roll acrobatics <laughs> <laughs> uh there is no acrobatics oh wait yes there is i had i haven't played dnd in a while that's plus three, fourteen. Okay. The sniper hits you. <laughs> Whatever, right. no big deal. <laughs> she like has an arrow. <laughs> there is an arrow. There is an arrow. There's an arrow lodged in your left tit now. Uh, you have taken. You have. You will start the next battle with five damage. <laughs> I had worse. You know, I literally, I got eaten by the cannibal god. I got eaten. I got put in a bag of holding for a while. It's no big deal. Roll acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to keep shooting you. Roll acrobatics. <laughs> the sniper wordlessly fires and knocks another arrow and loses it. <laughs> loses it at you again. Roll acrobatics. Um, Lulieta, maybe you could, uh, could you just back away for a little bit? Wow, it sounds like you're really hung up on this whole cannibal god thing. You got some issues you need to talk about, or? <laughs> uh, did you mean lean back up? No, Lulietta. Oh. I, I assume that he's still on the horse. Yeah, she backs up. Okay, uh, the sniper hits lean again. You take another five damage. You'll start the next battle with ten damage. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, I couldn't help but notice you have a thing for, uh, or big-breasted half-wits. What about me? You got something you want to say? The sniper knocks an arrow and loses it at, <laughs> loses it at Esgal. Roll acrobatics. <laughs> Roll acrobatics? Yep. All right. Folky goes over to Charles and is like, he's distracted. Hey, you get me on that horse and airdrop me onto him and I'm going to maul him. You got it. Hop on. She hops on. Okay, uh, first of all, I'm going to, uh, oh, hold on. Can, can, I, can I say the thing? Um, Life Eskal, life. you actually, do you actually managed to dodge the, uh, you actually managed to dodge the arrow. <laughs> Come on. Your mother is a ham sandwich. <laughs> he is angry. <laughs> Roll acrobatics with disadvantage. <laughs> Rolling acrobatics with disadvantage. <laughs> D20 plus set. Dodging isn't the point in this case, though. It really it isn't. Lucky you, you dodged it again. <laughs> All right. Okay. So as uh, as the sniper. <laughs> As the sniper misses Malifoon once again, Charles and Fulky, <laughs> Charles and Fulky fly over the chasm, uh, and Fulky attempts to uh, maul the sniper uh, by dro by dropping onto by dropping onto him. Uh, I need you to roll. I need you to roll. First, I need you to roll stealth. Oh, right. should know. Looks at the sniper. Nothing personnel, kid. Uh, with a roll, roll stealth with advantage. Oh shoot! Hold on. Let me put yeah. the. So that's eleven plus. Oh yeah. 14. I'll wait till this is rolled. Yeah. That's twenty-five. Twenty-five plus. Thirty. Everything I've said, I hope you know, is nothing personnel, kid. All right. The sniper, upon hearing the sniper upon hearing this, turns and sees Fulky coming. He attempts to loose an arrow to her, but he uh. But Fulky lands on him first. The sniper <coughs> staggers backwards. Uh, She's he, on him. How does he stagger? He was he was hit with a tiger. <laughs> he was <laughs> yeah, and she's on him. 
Okay, right. fine. He he falls flat on the ground. He's he's on the ground now. And Folky, you start like, you start like mauling him. Yay. Now. Uh, uh, but the, uh, but the sniper pulls out. The sniper takes his dagger and he slashes into your belly. She keeps mauling him. Okay. Uh, can I try to fire an arrow while he's distracted with her? Yeah, sure. Uh, roll a, uh, roll dex. Roll dex, alrighty. So that you don't hit Falky. <laughs> right, 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 right. Ah, oh, pretty good. <laughs> uh, Charles, uh, you loose an arrow into the sniper's neck, and the knight and the sniper up. And the sniper lets go of the knife. The knife clatters into the chasm, and uh, Falky, you also uh, maul the sniper, and then the sniper falls into the chasm. Well, now that that's been taken care of, I have uh, one question. Why are we doing this again? <laughs> my pride. Uh, and now my, now my pride and my boob is... Well, my pride's better. A little. Still a little hurt. He just slowly starts walking back towards Julieta, not even looking, making eye contact with her. Well, to be fair, you do have nice tits. <laughs> oh, wow, thank you. Didn't expect that from you. Uh, uh, <sighs> okay. Did we get him? Uh, yes. Although, um, we, sl so we suffered some col collateral, uh, yeah, my, my tit got hit. It got hit with an arrow. It, it was terrible. Oh, that's, uh, um, uh that's, hmm. Although my right one does have a scar, so, you know, it, it, it's just what happens. It's just the, the, the life. As long as you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. My pride's hurt, but I'm fine. And the bridge <laughs> is gone. How are we going to get across? Well, we could use our two flyers and just ferry everyone back and forth, but that would take forever. But it works. Again, there's gotta be another way around. Mm. Hmm. Is the pit bottom? The pit has a bottom, but it's very, very deep, and you might not want <clears> to <throat> fall in there because you will probably uh, die. <laughs> I got it. Also, it's damp because the waterfall is also the waterfall is roaring right. and like. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to climb back out, even if you uh did fall in there. I just had a thought. This is Malphine talking. You had you mentioned something about the flyer carrying you guys across. What if we use the? How fast is the waterfall moving? By the way, uh, the waterfall is just moving at normal waterfall speed. It's not like a magic waterfall or anything. It's just no, like, no, no. I get it. This is Mal's tactical side talking. What if we use the speed of the waterfall as some sort of like a boost to get them across faster? But the waterfall's going down. We can't change the way the water moves. It doesn't move down initially. It starts moving across before it goes that direction. Ch sure, but... It's worth a shot. I don't know. <sighs> Maybe we can try it, but have someone there to catch them. You know, just in case. Definitely. <laughs> If you want to be the one to try it, be my guest. Find that. I, I can't exactly fly. Oh, oh, no, no, no! I get what you're saying. No, I can. I'm willing to try it. Okay. Well, then you can demonstrate what you mean, I guess. Um, excuse me, over there. Um, would you? It's a shot. Oh, oh, of, of course. If 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 you are willing to go through that with this. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. So you're going to try to use the waterfall to a... Uh, so you're going to try to use the waterfall as, like, basically a dash panel from Mario Kart. <laughs> basically. Okay. You can certainly try. Listen, man. I've broken physics with elves before. I can do it again. <laughs> This All is right. What elves are. Okay. Well, we'll see if we'll see if today is another one of those times. <laughs> <sighs> Roll acrobatics for Charles. Roll an acrobatics. 
The Charles or Malifane? Charles is the one with the Charles is the one on the horse, right? He's the one who's catching him. There we go. Oh, uh, wait. Who's <coughs> where? Hold on. Charles is on the on this side of the thing. So, wait. Explain to me what you're doing again. Like, I know you. I know you're trying to like launch yourself across with the to get the other part to get the other party across. Ah, uh, so you're like just yeeting them across. Yeah. All right. Uh. Okay, Charles, uh, you uh, run through the water and uh, using the momentum, you uh, toss Malifane, uh, I mean, toss Malifane across the uh, across the chasm. Yep. Uh, but I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to roll acrobatics again with Charles. Yeah. All right. Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, oh! Uh, Charles, uh, you fly up. You, uh, okay, Charles, you succeed in tossing Malphan <laughs> across the chasm, but unfortunately for you, you can't stop your horse as the as the water is too slippery. Your horse trips. You fall into the and you and you fall off off, off the edge of the waterfall and into the chasm. Into the chasm? Into the chasm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy fuck! Lean yells. You try, it's, it's a pretty, dead? it's a pretty, you are not dead. <laughs> you are not playing classic mode, man, where you're not dead, but you're going to be taking some pretty bad damage from down there. Hold on uh, a second, Charles. I need to prepare myself. <clears throat> You hear us, uh, Lulieta and Lean and Falky and Malafane, you all look, peer over the chasm, and you hear, you, you wait for a while, you hear, <laughs> there's silence. I'm okay. Are you? No. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Fun fact, so... it only takes 30 feet of falling to kill a man. <laughs> Okay, so in bum, hindsight, bum, 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 bum. It, okay, so in hindsight, it works on paper, but clearly not in practice. <sighs> yeah, clearly. Charles is hanging on at one health. <laughs> oh, it's curtain. You fell down a chasm. What do you expect? Hang on, while I move him to the void. <laughs> Just because he's dead. He's down there. He's he's stuck down there. <laughs> Poor guy. I'll be okay. I just <laughs> need a moment. Well, oh. um, we could convince our other flyer to go get you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that's not gonna work. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Why is it so? Why is it so slowing me down here? Uh, it's it's pra um. Charles, what you're down. Right I've now. been in this situation before. Don't touch it. It's probably guts. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Is is he going to be okay? Uh. In my experience, no. He's probably dead. Like, for sure, for sure dead. Stop telling people I'm dead! <laughs> How well, can you hear me? I'm not yelling! You know, I think I can still hear his voice. <laughs> well... Oh, boy. Well, you guys are gonna have to figure out how to get him out <laughs> next this is session. A perfect. Because... I was gonna say this is a perfect place to end. This is hilarious <laughs> because it's seven thirty-six. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta wrap it up for today. This is where we're gonna end the session. So next session, you probably should find a way to fish him out of there. <laughs> oh, we already have a way. It's just like it'll take some, some convincing. 
It'll take some convincing. That we're going to have at least like five more minutes with them at, in the next scene so we can at least figure out how to fish them out before they leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll leave them I'll leave them with you for the for like the until you fish Charles out and then then they got to okay. go. Yeah, that's fair. And after that says, I guess we're ending on a cliffhanger. No. Charles fell off the cliff. <laughs> cliffhanger. <laughs> all right, so we'll all, we'll see you all, we'll see you guys next. We'll see you guys uh next session and <laughs> when we fish charles out of the chasm because ouch that is that has got to hurt uh so yeah see you all in the post show if we don't see you in the post show uh if you're watching this on youtube thanks for watching curse throne please watch more curse more curse throne. curse throne <laughs> and yeah uh re- reminder that camp streaming is still going on so if you want the rainbow roadies to have support just watch us <laughs> good job that's it. Listen, man, I try. Listen, man, I try. <laughs> you right, did. There's it. only one true way to end this. There's only one true way to end this before post show. Bulky, go. You swim into the void. You fall into the void, and you also take. You also. <laughs>